right, so today we've returned to a dusty trip because they've gone ahead and dropped a massive update. In this, we have a brand new free to play truck, a brand new garage system, which is actually going to be introducing a bunch of other new features in upcoming updates. As you can see up here, we got shop trading achievements as well as settings all of these are coming soon but the one that we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is going to be the inventory because this is where all of the vehicles are going to be accessible moving forward aside from that there's also a brand new car spin system which will be here for the next week and inside of here you will have a chance of getting not only car skins but also the very very rare formula one vehicle that is a 0.5 percent chance of getting now aside from those few things there also is a brand new backpack system which allows you to permanently keep items at least for as long as you're capable of keeping them inside of the backpack and they've also added a bunch of really rare items throughout the game one of them being a ray gun which is a one in one million chance of being able to get it i don't know if we're going to be lucky enough to get it in today's video i highly doubt it but one thing i do know for sure is that we're going to try and get our hands on this formula one last time we played this game we checked out the Eurus, or i guess it's called an exotica in the game i like liked it so hopefully this one is going to give me the same vibes but uh what better place to start the video than right here and that is the car skin if you notice at the bottom there is three options to being able to get your hands on the option number one is obviously going to be robux you can get one spin for 49 robux or 10 spins for 399 and then for all of you free to play players in the middle you can spend 1000 bottle caps in exchange for what i believe is a total of four spins because technically it says i have one spin and then three left after that which technically i don't even know why it says i have one because i technically don't have one actually i'm pretty dumb i just completely misunderstood that it's telling you that for 1000 bottle caps you can get one spin and there's a total of three of them that you could purchase now i wonder if that's every 24 hours because if it means that i can only get three for the entire week then that's just insane either way your boy doesn't have a lot of robux so we're gonna just try and attempt this as many times as i can which technically speaking i can only do it like maybe 12 or 13 times so let's see if we get lucky here i doubt it 0.5 percent means that it's probably going to take me like i don't even know like 100 maybe 150 spins could be even more than that we got rust bucket for the first one second one is going to be sand dune we got lemon that's a 19 percent honestly i won't even be mad as long as we're able to get the vast majority of these but unfortunately, it looks like we didn't get anything besides the noob, the rust bucket, sand dune, and lemon. So unfortunately, just as I expected, we did not get it. But we can do a couple of single spins here. So let's try and do these here. Oh, there we go. We got pink perfect that's another new one to the list so we didn't get it but that's okay because i actually prepared for this moment and i went ahead and got in contact with someone that actually was able to get their hands on the formula one so we're going to join his game we're going to check out the formula one car and then we'll also take that moment to sort of explore the rest of the new stuff that were added because as soon as you jump into a brand new game you'll probably notice that a lot of things have been changed but before we do that let's go ahead and make sure that you guys go into the garage and choose the vehicle that you would like to equip in my case i have the exotica equipped but it doesn't really matter because technically speaking we're going to be checking out the formula one but dude these skins are kind of funny the noob one actually looks pretty crazy is this the noob one i don't know which skin this is but this looks nice oh this is the noob one i hate that personally i would either rock the lemon or i would rock the pink one but the pink one is like a little crazy it's a little out there so let's go with lemon All right, so we're now restarting um, because this is probably a little bit awkward as you guys are watching this. I just kind of recorded the entire Formula One, but I was muted. So we're sort of rejoining so that, that way I can show you guys. All right, so here we are back inside of the game, even though technically for you guys, it is now the first time that we're back in the game. But like I had mentioned in my previous recording, as soon as you jump into a brand new game, you will instantly notice a bunch of different things. We're now no longer inside of the bedroom with the bed here. Instead, you're just inside of this empty room which on the right hand side you'll probably notice one new item which technically is not new but the model for it is previously you would have found over here well actually not inside of this room but the room over here a sponge that was used to clean your car and to i believe increase like the durability of it I i'm not entirely sure that's what someone told me in my comment section but now the sponge has been changed to this little gas station kind of scrubber thing so if you go ahead and grab it bring it to the vehicle and use it it will clean the vehicle now you will no longer need the sponge 
aside from that there is no longer a basement in this area instead you have just this whole entire open area with all of the stuff laying around and there is a ladder unlike before to be able to get up to the roof and get the little hamburger that's in the corner but none of that is important because what we're here to see is the formula one car i'm not gonna lie to you man i drove this for a bit in the previous recording i also was able to flip this extremely easy and by some miracle we ended up flipping it back over to how it was supposed to be and then we ran out of fuel so here we are in take two of rebuilding this and doing it the correct way this time because i believe that the way that i kind of messed up was by leaving the cap of this open and then flipping the car over which made all of the fuel come out definitely not the uh smartest thing that i've ever done but nonetheless here we are full tank top has been closed this time engine is in radiators in we're gonna go ahead and jump in the driver's seat and just just take a listen to this man take a listen bro this thing sounds sick now again fair warning taking sharp turns at a really fast speed will flip this over super fast but without a doubt in my mind this is a hundred percent the fastest vehicle in the game now so i've gone ahead and let hero brian know that i'm gonna take it down the road he's gonna follow me in my exotica because i really want to show you guys just how fast this is but i also want to uh go ahead and mute this because it is so loud in my ears there we go much better so again if you notice at the top i wouldn't pay too much attention to the monitor on the steering wheel because i just don't think that it's accurate i'm not 100 percent sure but i drove it going fairly fast i mean what i would consider extremely fast like right now and it's saying that we're only going about 90 which is i don't know maybe that's right but then if you look at the meters at the top i don't know dude it just doesn't seem very accurate now if we have to stop oh you see that you see how it starts lifting up if you're going really fast and you try to make a turn it's just not gonna work out well for you oh dude we got to get out of here i refuse to get struck by lightning dude it's just honestly really crazy how fast we're going right now oh no 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 we're flipping okay we saved it we're good we're good as soon as i'm able to get out of this storm which we just lost the tire bro come on bro no where'd the tire go i don't even know where it went oh dude we're about to get wrecked right now i lost the tire where'd the tire even go it's just gone i believe hero brian is gonna come save the day but i don't exactly know how he can save me considering uh the tires for this are kind of like exclusive to it but i just want to know where the tire went it's nowhere here but it also is nowhere back there and nowhere around here at all the only thing i can think of is that it glitched through the car but even still if we move it here the tire is still nowhere to be i'm so confused there's hero brian i guess i'll take this moment to also show you guys the permanent backpack that i was talking about if you're on pc and you press i on your keyboard it'll bring up this little square on the floor where you can place down your backpack it does a little animation, your backpack pops open, and then there's specific items that you can find which you can throw inside of this backpack. Once you have them all in there, you just walk up to the backpack again, press I a second time, and it will pick it up and put it back onto your back. Wait, he put the tires from the Exotica on it. Bro, wait, what are you gonna drive then? Also, it seems like we're kind of overheating here a bit. We're out of water, and bro, he is literally parting out the entire Exotica right now this thing has literally been completely stripped of its parts he said try driving dude it actually worked it's actually working we got two exotica wheels on it as well as the engine of the exotic look at this frankenstein that we got going on here bro oh this is cool look he's actually got a bunch of items inside of his backpack so i'm assuming that you're able to purchase the ak now in the spawn and you can actually put it inside of your backpack instead of it being a one-time use. Oh, wow, this is kind of weird. It's like a brush that also works as a sponge. I don't know what that is. Then, of course, you got yourself a, a nice little AK here. And he even also keeps a shotgun inside of here. Bro, I definitely need to get some weapons and stuff inside of my backpack. Now, obviously, I want to go ahead and do some exploring to see if we come across any of the new items. So let's transition over to uh, us doing a little bit of exploring. All right, so here we go. Hero Brian is crouched in the back seat. I don't know if this is going to work out or not, dude. Is he still back there? Oh, dude, he is. All right, let's see what happens here. He is literally riding with me by just crouching on the vehicle. But I can't see anything, bro. 
Oh, bro, the car is dead. It's dead. We're going to have to make a quick little stop right here. And we're going to have to see what the situation is now, dude. Wait. Wait, the car is going on its own. Wait. <laughs> dude, the car is leaving us. It's just going. <laughs> dude, it's just gone. That's it. It's gone. Like, we're never getting that Formula One car back. <laughs> Well, I guess we're on foot now, buddy. Oh, this is actually kind of interesting. So they added ammo, but I'm curious. Am I able to put this ammo inside of my backpack? If I drop the backpack here. Oh, I don't even know where the backpack went. Okay, so I'm going to drop the backpack right here, which for some reason it's invisible. I, I don't even know where the backpack is dropping. This is definitely a bug because I cannot see where my backpack is dropping. So we're just going to use these two lines on the road as a reference point. Let me move this over to the side a bit. We're going to drop it right about here. Okay. And then we're going to grab this and we're going to drop it right here. So then as soon as I pick it up, nothing happens. All right. Perfect. Okay. For some reason, putting it on top of the ammo box work literally makes no sense. Okay. So ammo cannot go in the backpack. Got it. Noted. According to Hero Brian, only weapons can be kept inside of the backpack. No food, no nothing. So does a TNT count? Oh, it does. I can put it inside my backpack. Perfect. Same goes for the axe over here. I can definitely put this in my backpack. And then we just go ahead and press I again and it will pick it up. And we now have that inside of our backpack for any game that we join in the future. Oh man, where did this even come from? Oh, okay. So we also figured out how to add ammo. You just pick up the ammo, look at the gun and press r and it'll just start adding the ammo into the gun interesting okay so yeah man for the most part it seems like there's a lot of bugs for this update but i really just wanted to show you guys the formula one car because it was kind of interesting and i know that a lot of you guys are potentially going to be trying to chase after getting your hands on it and all that stuff so i wanted to just show you how worth it it was a couple of things to note the car overheats very quickly it goes insanely fast to the point where i can arguably say that it is probably the fastest car in the game and it sure enough can hold more than one person not the most efficient way but it definitely can now i'm gonna be honest man i'm gonna do some exploring probably off camera find some of these new items and then i'll do a follow-up video with some of the new items to show you guys and then for my next video i finally want to go ahead and just do a full playthrough with you guys where we just kind of hang out see as far as we go and actually now that i'm thinking about it that might even sound like a good stream if you're interested in that let me know in the comments drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it either way that's gonna do it for this video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care